Hello and God bless you, child of God. I want to relate this to many of us in the body of Christ, just so that we can be prepared. Between now and December 2023, there's going to be a lot of strange events that will be taking place. And some of these, Father God has revealed to myself um, in my prayer time and some of that while I was just waiting upon him. And I'm just going to be talking about that very briefly while I also read from the book of Matthew 24, uh, verse 6 to 14. But let's pray before we get started because I want the Holy Spirit to lead instead of my myself just going on rambling. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, I welcome your presence. I worship you with all my heart even right now. You are so awesome, so great, and so excellent and marvelous. But I ask that even right now, Lord God, that you will begin to speak through me words of truth, words of wisdom, words of power, O oh Lord. And words, Lord, that will bless your people in this hour. Father, even as you have revealed what you have revealed and yet to reveal, Lord, we ask for grace to continue to remain in connection with you, to serve you, and to live a life of boldness and power and confidence in your word. Every spirit of fear and timidity in us, Lord, take it away in Jesus' name. Because your word did say that you have not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. So even in these times, O oh Lord, we ask that you will come and lift us up in your strength, Father God, to continue to live for you, despite all that will be happening in the world. Help our love to grow hotter and not colder. In Jesus' mighty name, take all the glory, Father God. Amen. So you all, um, the Lord has revealed some things to me. Um, there is a nation I'm going to be speaking about, um, a country I'm going to be speaking about. But before I actually go into speaking about that nation, I want to just let us know very quickly. Between now and the end of uh, 2023, so between now into July and then all the way down to the end of 2023 in December, there's going to be lots of strange events. God wants you as his child to be ready, to be prepared, to be alert as well. The Lord will reveal these things to some of his servants. Um and then he'll, he'll want, you know, those people to relate to others. And that's why I'm here right now. So the wars that have already been happening, there's going to be more. There will be more wars that will come up before the end of 20, 2023. And also, when I say wars, like I'm not just speaking about nation to nation wars. There will be wars between organizations. There will be wars between companies. There will be some certain kind of wars between families. There will be wars in some marriages, much more deeper than the ones that some of us have even had to like go through. There will be more spiritual warfare as well. My God, help me, Lord Jesus. Um, we know that we are in the end of times, and we know the times that we are. We are in perilous times. And the Lord is really inviting many of us. That's why you see there's, there's a revival going Like right now, if you're sensitive in the spirit, you can tell that there's a revival going on. There's more people that have been convicted of their sins and more, and more persons are joining, you know, nearer unto the Lord. And if you look at the COVID time as well, uh, more people were actually drawing near to Christ in that period. So the Lord is allowing all of these things to happen for a reason. His agenda for the kingdom of heaven has to be fulfilled and that's to draw more souls to Christ so that many may be saved by grace so the other thing the lord actually revealed to me was famine father god revealed this to me a while back that there's going to be famine it's good for you to stock up whenever you can stock up with food and with water and the lord is actually speaking to some of us right now saying to you um stop you know like don't 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 stock up with canned canned food a lot warned me about canned food they're going to be poisoning more food as well my god they're going to <laughs> have i have to be spraying <laughs> praying the holy ghost for a second like the lord loves us as his children so much that he doesn't want us to just be ignorant and become victims right the lord wants us to have this understand have this understanding and be wise as well so ha just um obey what the lord is saying like just so there, there will come a time that you can't go out and you have to stay indoors so be ready for that time as well that's that's what i receive in my spirit there will come a time where you, you can't really move freely to do what you want to do you have to stay indoors you have to be indoors stay inside and just do what you need to do from the comfort of your home that thing that happened like you know like like, like a few years ago i don't like mentioning the name because i don't want youtube issue um 
that prevented people from going now there's going to be a worse kind coming again and the lord wants us to be pre to be prepared for for you know all of that and he will use that also as a way to you know separate many from or from persons that they shouldn't be with just so that they can join near to him amen um so when i was speaking about farming um the lord revealed that to me that there's going to be farming and father god will even give you you know um a clue or a sense of it when it's beginning to come up so that you can what stock up stock up on food stock up on water don't get canned food they're going to be poisoning more foods and just putting all sorts of things that your body don't need things that will be harmful to your body they're going to be putting it in food so stock up on healthy food like buy lots of vegetables if you have a deep freezer in your home good if you don't have one try to get one if you can afford one stock up with fresh vegetables and freeze them if you can um and then dry food as well packets you know food as well will be will be good cereal and then all of that healthy healthy options will be awesome speaking of healthy if you're not a part of holy healthy life guide definitely go and subscribe holy healthy life guide and i give divine inspiration for healthy lifestyles um so yeah so that's the other thing so farmings are going to be coming up more and then um what else yes uh there's there's going to be just a just strange kinds of wickedness just taking place like people that you once knew are going to just just all of a sudden just just change their attitude towards you and you're going to be wondering why like this is going to be happening more to the chosen ones as well there'll be high amounts of persecution lord jesus there'll be a high amount of persecution as well that will be coming up towards the end of the year and then next year as well there'll be a high amount of persecution so prepare yourself ask, ask father god for grace that your faith will not fail um and the Lord will allow these things, obviously, in your life just because he wants, he, he wants it to serve as a test. And he will grant you the grace to pass that test also in Jesus' mighty name. Let me just read about what is going to be happening that I read of in Matthew 24, 6 to 14. And just speaks about the end times. Right, so Jesus speaking here, he says, You will hear of wars and rumors of war, but see to it that you are not what? Alarmed, that you are not afraid, right? So such things must happen, but the end is still not come. And then he says, nation will rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And like I said, not just not just nations rising against nation, like there will be kingdom against kingdom, people against people, family against family, like it is going to come up, right? Um, then it says, there will be famines. Are you seeing this? There will be famines. And then it says earthquakes in various places. And I feel like there has been earthquake in like lots of places as like, as well like recently and then in times past as well there has been but you're going to see more of the earthquakes and those kind of uh, tsunamis as well that we heard of um they're, they're going to be taking place more as well um and then it says all these are the beginning of what bet pains bet pains then it says then you will be um then you will be handed over to the my god to be persecuted and put to death and you will be hated by all nations because of me are, are you seeing this <laughs> you are, i haven't even read matthew 24 in like maybe like a year like let me be honest like in a year and i'm just so thankful that i'm receiving this confirmation myself so listen carefully and also take the word to go back and ask the lord if this is true if you're not believing me and you don't believe that i'm reading from matthew the lord will help you in jesus name help us all father god amen okay so it says um, so verse 10 then says at that time many will turn away from the faith that's why i said pray that your faith will not fail in this season in this in this end time pray that your faith will be rock solid that jesus will just help you just just, just say father god baptize me with a fresh fire to serve you like just help my faith to be stronger in you right praise the lord so so so, so, so it says all this very help my tongue just my name so it says at that time Many will turn away from the faith and be and will betray and hate each other. And then Levin says, and many false prophets will appear and deceive many people. And, th and this is already happening. Many false, many false persons will just come up and start giving false kind of prophecy, saying all the wrong things about when Christ is coming, or saying all the wrong things about about you know what God didn't say is what concerning your life. They'll just be putting fear into your heart or telling you stuff about how candles are going to bless you when you burn candles or if you go to the sea and go and get this the um, the um, sand from the sea and put it in your home about how that is going to i'm just telling you all kind of lies that your parents are the reason why your life is not going the way it's supposed to be going and all of that and nothing 
is is you know founded by the, like all of those words are they have no foundation from the word of god right so be careful about that as well um and then 12 12 says because of the increase of wickedness i told you i said wickedness is going to increase i mentioned that that wickedness is going to increase in this end time get ready for it but just ask father god to grant you grace to be able to stand firm on his word keep your eyes on him so that you will not be moved and shaken by all of these things right so it says wickedness will increase and then it says the love of most will grow cold i mentioned that as well that the love of many will grow cold so ask the lord to baptize you afresh with that fresh fire so that you can have that strong desire to want him to love him more grace ask him for great for, for grace ask father god for grace to love him grace to obey him grace to serve him these are very very important and unnecessary in this time with your work with the lord um to just continue to um to, to grow you know deeper in love with the lord and to con and to remain in connection with him in this time but 13 now says it says but the one who stands firm to the end will be saved hallelujah praise the lord then then 14 the last verse says and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come so the lord is going to be allowing all of these instances all of this situation all of these things that are going to be taking place just to just create that that pathway for the lord to come through so so, 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 so the messages of a christ will be able to go forth the way it should go forth so persons that are going through the famine going through the wickedness going through you know the wars that they are going through in any place in any organization like father god is going to be strategically placing saviors in different places in different scenarios so we just pray in this hour that father god will grant us grace to be able to go through all of these times these perilous times these evil days that we are in and for the chosen ones you need to remain focused on the lord as well keep serving the lord and ask for more grace as well and show more mercy to persons that may even show their head show their hate towards you or all that are wicked towards you and ask god for mercy what did our lord jesus christ say on the cross when they were about to kill him father forgive them for they know not what they do mercy even at the cross even in his pain in everything that they were doing to him he still said not just 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 forgive them right and the lord wants you to have that kind of attitude as well so may father god grant us all grace in this hour to remain standing firm on his word standing firm with him obeying him living for him you know uh, serving him and also please just let 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 the holy spirit help you as well if you're going through addictions and challenges right in your life let the holy spirit help you help you so that you can overcome and so that those sins and struggles that you are facing there will not be a blocker of the blessing that father god wants to bring upon you as his child in this season so even though there's all of these things going on father god wants to release blessings to onto the body of christ the persons that have been waiting for so long for a promise believing trusting god having faith the lord has rewards for you as well so that's what i wanted to relate to you all i pray that father god will have mercy upon us and even help us even more in this hour he's our ever present help of He's our ever-present help in time of need. And I know that Father God will help those that are longing to be helped in this hour. May God bless you and may God keep you. May God guide you. Cover you all with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Take this word to the Lord once again. Don't just take my word, but take it to him. Ask him for confirmation. If I if Apostle Glenn has said anything that, that you know doesn't sound like the truth, ask the Lord. Lord, give me clarity. Is this what this apostle said true? All right, you all, be mighty blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Every link you need will be in the bar below. Remain encouraged in the Lord. I love you, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Shalom and God bless you.